Do that. Yeah, sure. Do that now. You should all have a report kind of look like this. It's got the two tables on the front. Um, yeah, so as of November 30th, um, I had broken down the NREMs. There's 29 properties uh, remaining on that. Uh, that includes one that you, we just uh, paid back uh, or gave back uh, because they paid. Um, 21 of those 29 were, uh, had 2007 liens, 20 had 2008 liens, and so forth. So it's a little confusing to, to on first read. Um, if you look on the second page, or Schedule A, um, you can see a breakdown of the uh, 11 properties uh, that the town, or uh, the one property on top is one that you just gave back because the, uh, the 136 Hobart just paid in full. Uh, then the next 10 properties are the ones the town has officially took title of in October. Um, you know, Dave Burns and I are recommending that we remove those from receivables and uh, put those in an asset category uh, as now we own them. Um, Where, where's the uh, Beach Street property? The uh, Beach Street property um, I, it was previously removed because they paid prior to November uh, 30th, um, so that was already removed. All right. So the assessed value, the assessed value of the ten properties we own is three point two million dollars. Three point two oh seven. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. Two hundred. Yes. Okay. And um, okay. So the first thing we're talking about is the in rem properties. Are we going to get more properties in rem? Uh, is it more like? Yeah, I think I think we're going to end up with four more. Um, there are uh, there's a motion for summary judgment that's returnable Friday. Uh, for this is the remainder of the properties that, that had answered and to date have not paid or have not uh, filed bankruptcy. Uh, there were, I think, four bankruptcies. So we're down to four properties that, are, uh, that I, I, I think uh, we'll end up with title to. Right. And they're, they're um, I think, in right fact, right they're still working. Nick is still... I, I didn't provide the, the detail of that, um, but I have it in front of me. There were, what's, the, just the, what's the assessed value of the four properties? Of the four right? properties, the assessed value is 1.2. All right, so if those four properties come on, then we're going to have 3.2 plus 1.2. We're going to have $4.4 .4 million in, in, in property that we'll own. Four assessed pro value. Assessed value of four properties. Okay, 14 properties. And Mr. Nowotnik, um, w w we sent out our RFP last Friday, and we're one, the due date is de December 29th? Yes. So for all you property management firms out there, we're going to have 14 properties. December 28th. So December 28th. 14 properties that uh, we're going to ask you to help us manage. And the idea is for you to make a proposal, uh, sell them immediately, rent them for two years, and then sell them, uh, sell them at auction. Um, but this is a real opportunity, I think, if you're a property management company, to get 14, uh, com uh, 14 properties in one fell swoop and try and do something with them. Um, so, okay, that's the in rent properties, and those are the properties we're going to own. Now, just going to the front page, this is a groundbreaking memo. <coughs> this is, I'm glad we're, it, it is, it is a groundbreaking memo. It is because this is the first time, at least in the, all the time I've been in the town, where we're actually, you know, going to manage our receivables. I mean, basically, uh, you know, we're, uh, the town is a collection agency, essentially. And, you know, we assess taxes, uh, we collect those taxes, and we guarantee $160 million in taxes. Uh, and I want to commend Mr. Meck and his team for all his hard work. But now what we want to do is we want to have a formal monthly report that measures to this number. Now, we're going to define this number tonight. And every meeting, we're going to have this collection number clearly identified. And we're going to, Mr. Meck is going to tell us how he's doing with the collections. Because, again, it makes absolutely no sense for people to use the town to finance finance themselves. If you own your home, you should take out a mortgage at a, you know, where you're paying penalty interest rates are 20, 25 percent, correct, Mr. Mecca? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So you shouldn't, you, I mean, you should, there's a much more intelligent ways for you to finance yourselves than through the town. So our goal, Mr. Gelfarb, is to get these, 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 this collection number down. Uh, now, the 4.576 
includes the in-rem properties, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so the table below it uh, would be after the recommended changes. Um, so it'd be well, what are the recommended changes? Uh, the recommended changes, which I have below, is removing the 10 properties that we now own. Yep. Uh, also removing from that list the one you, that we just gave back because they paid yep. in full. Um, then there's eight properties that were in rem uh, but are in dispute. All right, now where are, do you have a list of them? Yes, I do. Right, uh, that's uh, Schedule B. It's on page All right, so three. So let's talk about Schedule B. Um. <clears throat> Uh, these eight properties were part of uh, Paul's 79, um, four of which... Well, there's one that's missing here, isn't there? No, they're... they're what happened they're, to the, uh, the beachfront property, the Mimernic... No, that's, that would be that, a that, that's, category. That's, well, that's a separate category. Uh, what category uh, are they in? That's in previous years in dispute. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but uh, Schedule B is, is the eight properties that were part of Paul's 79 uh, in-run properties, four of which we took ownership of, but... The parcels don't exist or are air, um, so we own nothing. Um, like, if I may, for example, uh, some of them were franchises that we don't know. We they're they're not real property, so we can't tax those. Villa, Village of Portchester Waterfront that was G, the part of the GNS project, and that, that amount was in fact paid, um, so they don't owe us any more money. Pentecostal Iglesia is a exempt property. It's religious. Uh, other than the uh, county right, so tax. So writing these off, is that Yeah, it? these are, these are yeah. written so off. Yeah, so it's $119,000. Um, 236 South Main Street, we took that, right? Is, I'm, not, well, I'm not clear on what the... That, that's a merged parcel. That's a merged parcel, thank you. Okay, I knew there was some, some issue with that. So, that, so those uh, are so being... So we're writing these 119000 off, is that right? Yes. All right, well, we don't, again, obviously... We, well, we got paid on the 57, so we're writing it off that we're not, we didn't get any well, money. Well, we have, yeah, but... The, yeah, but they we, shouldn't be on the uh, well, collection Well, we have list. it as an outstanding. What Correct. we want to do is make certain that we have, don't make these mistakes in the future. Right, we're going to clean that list up so that right. they'll be off. And then on Schedule C is a list of some old... And Nick can explain why these are some old ones. Well, wait, so we got the... So, so, so Schedule B is the in rem and dispute, the yes. under 19. We're writing that off. Yes. And what's this last previous years uh, in dispute? Previous years in dispute, they had 2006 prior liens, but were not part of the in-rem process for whatever reason. Um, the first six have old um, section block and lots, so there's no way to, to track them. Um, it's a relatively small amount of money. Um, and uh, the, the others are building adjustments. There is a mistake in the, the building, is from what I'm aware. All right, well, um, so it's, it's basically... So we're basically writing those off as well. Um, now you had mentioned uh, there are two other properties with their previous years in dispute. Uh, one is, is in the process of making the payment, um, and the other is in legal negotiations. That's the Yacht Club. And that's the Yacht Club in legal well, negotiations. Are they on this list anywhere? I, I didn't include them on, on the list. I just wanted to have the recommended changes for tonight. I do have detailed lists um, available. Well, what's happening? I don't understand. What's happening with the Yacht Club? It's 70, they owe $79,000, right? Well, well, Mr. Necca has more detail. <coughs> Mr. Mecca, you want to just tell us that? what's happening there? Yes. Honorable Supervisor Carvin, members of the Town Council, I have been in touch with the attorney from the Yacht Club, and it would seem that this problem comes back from a settlement that was made for a certiorari in the year 2004. The court had settled three years, or permitted three-year reduction. The club took four years. So one year was taken erroneously, and they owe that money back from them, from that time. So we, I have a figure, and I'm just waiting to come to table. Now, unfortunately, table, come to what table? You know, a, a round table. Come and sit and speak with well, but myself. I, why, why, I just don't understand why we're. If, 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 I'm just a little confused. If they owe us the money, and there's no doubt about it, them owing us the money, then then we should proceed within rem proceedings, and we're going to well, foreclose on these well, guys. Well, yeah, if, let me, let me, they, 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 perspective, they, there, there was a dispute <clears throat> about the amount mm -hmm. due. Nick now has, I think, finalized his number, and I think you just conveyed it. What, I'm, co what yeah. I'm comfortable with, right. what I believe is correct. He's conveying that to them. If they don't pay it, yes, then we, we have, have our next round of in rems is going to be next summer. And that's 79. So no, 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 they would be in that round. Next These guys are at past 2006. Well, well but I mean, the no, thing there's, is no, there's no next round. There's no next round. Well, we don't These do, guys, we, we only do in rems when we have, like, no. eligible properties. I don't want this to do one This guy is eligible. Time. It's 2006 and prior. 
It is, but there is a, there is a there is a dispute about it. No, it's, as soon as we resolve the dispute, oh, I'm going to proceed. Well, yeah, as soon pay. as we resolve oh. the dispute, right. I'm going to right. proceed. I mean, I'm assuming mm-hmm. they've been current since. I have to say, oh yeah, they're yeah. current since that day. They're current.